Hello again everybody, this is Playing With Moe, aka Anthony, and this is a brand new video game playthrough, Mario is Missing! Yay! <laughs> it's a Ouija time! Oh god, ugh, oh, I love, I love this game, I love this opening part, this is, this is just hilarious. Now watch this. Where's the last word? Uh oh! No, no. <laughs> he's like gone. Oh wait, I forgot about these. There we go. <laughs> Much better. Now watch a Mario f <laughs> Mario falls faster than gravity. It's like Family Guy. Oh my God! Yoshi's like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Glad you could drop in. Come on, let's go. That totally wasn't abnormal at all that you fell from the sky. Uh, what's going on here? What? <laughs> yeah, you wait here, Yoshi. You just stay here in the middle of nowhere and do nothing. I'm gonna go in the castle and do stuff. And what? And <laughs> Oh my god, Yoshi's like, what is going on here? I didn't sign up for this! Oh my god, I love how random that little opening thing is. Ugh. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. Ugh. Say what you want about this game, but I like this game, okay? Uh, the, the game itself is very basic, very straightforward. Ugh, very simple. Now basically what you're doing here is you're running around these random cities around the world and while well, you're stomping go uh, Goombas, <laughs> stomping Koopas and hoping that they give up an artifact, random artifact that you will be using for, uh, well, stuff. I'll get to that later. Also when you come out of that blue pipe and you know, just coming into the stage, a pokey pops up and it doesn't allow you to go back into the pipe unless you do something. And I will reveal what that something is in just a few moments. Yes, we'll get to that when we get to that. Oh my god, it's Michael Jackson! Michael Jackson is in this game! <laughs> Don't touch me! Uh, okay, so basically, you're going to pick up these artifacts, and then you're going to go to these uh, information booths, I guess you can call them, where uh, Princess Peach just so happens to be working. And then you have to answer random questions about the thing that you're giving back. Yeah. <laughs> Lions. Yes, so basically, I'm giving back the gladiator spear for the, um, uh, wh whatever, uh, attraction thing this is. Ah, uh, the Colosseum, yes. Uh, it just so happened that a Koopa, well, the Koopas, uh, stole a gladiator spear, one gladiator spear, from the Colosseum, and because of that, the entire Colosseum had to shut down. Don't ask me, it's Nintendo logic. Anyway, I just picked up myself another artifact. Yes, when Koopas, <laughs> when Koopas don't have an artifact, they just explode. Like, you just see them, like, poof. Yeah, you see that? The software Toolworks knows exactly what Koopas do when they get stomped on. They don't just, like, pop out of the shell. They explode. Okay. And here's me answering some questions. <laughs> to get change for the laundry. Okay. So, yes, for this, for this, uh, uh attraction the Trevi Fountain, because somebody took two coins from the Trevi Fountain, the entire thing had to be closed. Go figure. Ah, uh, you know, I love these pictures, I really do. It's just like, okay, Luigi comes in and he takes a picture, but they had to draw these pictures by hand. I think they did a remarkable job. It's just, it's, it's one of the things that I really love about this game, is just the pictures. And that was a bit of an over-exaggerated death there. <laughs> Yeah, and so uh, when you actually find an artifact from the Koopa, they'll go through some sort of exaggerated death. Either they'll rocket into the sky, explode into a fiery fireball, or they'll uh, break into pieces. Yeah, and well, basically the entire thing of the, this game, j it doesn't make sense. First of all, the Koopas stole something from the, from the attraction. So why is it that they have to be closed down? And what's more is why is it that when Luigi finds these artifacts and tries to give them back, he has to answer questions. It's like, we have to make sure that this is authentic. You have to know about this attraction before we actually take this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't understand it myself. I really don't. But um, the entire point of the game is just to, to help kids learn about, uh, well, geographical things. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, just learning about where, um, you know, sites and attractions on the, uh, in certain cities around the countries, how they are and what they look like and a little bit of random trivia about them and where places in the world are. See, I just found myself Rome, Italy. 
And I got Yoshi. Oh my god, it's Yoshi! Yay! Everybody loves Yoshi. And so with Yoshi, I get to, well, scare this Pokey away. I'm getting closer. Oh my god. Ah, beat it, you jerk. <laughs> I love doing that. Ah, and this city is secured. And you get a password. Oh, passwords. Where have you been? Seriously. Now it's all about memory cards and internal memory and, and such. Yeah. Back in the day, passwords were like the thing, okay? I mean, there were a lot of games where, like, you couldn't even save, okay? These passwords were practically, practically rev- Oh, excuse me. <laughs> practically revolutionary, okay? This was, like, almost before the time where you could save things to, uh, to game packs. Which, of course, is the norm. Well, yeah. Nintendo DS. Okay, it still flies. Anyway, now we're in a brand new city in the world. Wow, where could we possibly be? Well, let's, it looks very Asian. I wonder what it is. Hmm. Well, let's find out, shall we? Uh, well, we gotta hit up some information booths. Oh, also, these random people ran running around like this professor guy and Michael Jackson and such. And such. Um, their only objective in this entire game is to basically help you figure out where you are and uh, depending on what item or artifact you have highlighted, they will tell you random bits and trivia about said artifact. Which will probably help you answer the silly questions later on when you have to give it back. <laughs> yeah, I just thought to myself, gee, Luigi could totally take them and sell them for profit. But that's not the Mario Bros way, absolutely not. That's the Wario way. Yes. <sighs> So yes, now it's time to return... Oh, right. Oh yeah, if you try to return the the incorrect thing, like Peach basically like says, What are you trying to get me here? Yes, okay, so how long is the Great Wall of China? How the heck should I know? Yeah, so I just randomly guessed it. I got it wrong. And when you get it wrong, you have to wait a little while before Peach will talk to you again. Yeah, how nice of her, huh? Yeah, okay, there we go. I got that one right. How many men did it take? 300,000? That's a lot. <laughs> That's over 9,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm randomly guessing this stuff. I, I really am. Not even kidding around. Nope. What a great picture that is. I mean, really. I had heard in the news recently that they actually uncovered some more of the Great Wall of China. Crazy. Okay, well, oh yes, I tried to bring back another wrong thing. Yeah, she'll notice random skips in the video. Well, that's me cutting it down for time, of course. Okay, so who couldn't enter the Forbidden City through the Heavenly Gate? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Emperor's new clothes. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got the one right. What is the Forbidden City's present name? How the heck should I know? <laughs> I don't know. Heavenly Peace. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I mean, come on, it was called the Gate of Heavenly Peace. You'd think that'd be it. Oh, yeah, when you try to talk to Peach without waiting a little while, she says, Sorry, I'm too busy to talk now. God, that's so nice of you, Peach. I mean, it's not like Luigi helped save you countless times throughout the uh, the entire history of of what you're doing there. I mean, you know, Luigi might not be the red one, but uh, you know, he's he's almost as good. <laughs> and there's the Forbidden City. Well, if that's any indication from these artifacts, we're actually in Beijing, China. And yes, we're going to be bringing back the last one. Hmm. Uh. You know, I guess I, I, I had a little note down here. I should totally give shout outs to anybody who's living in these places that we're visiting. Um, oh my god, what was the first place? Oh yes, anybody living in Rome? I see you. Yes, you're awesome. <laughs> and anybody living in Beijing? Uh, I mean, if anybody from Beijing does watch my videos, you are awesome too. Yes, we're talking about the Hall of Good Harvest here. Yes, that's exactly what that is. Okay. <laughs> I love some of the questions in the multiple choice answers, though. I mean, the answers, I should say. Like, what was it? One of them said, have a slumber party. <laughs> oh, they had quite a bit of humor in this game. And I liked that about this game. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you know what I was also thinking to myself? I mean, since Luigi's running around and doing all this stuff in random places in the world... I mean, if Mario is missing, then I could have Princess Peach all to myself. Well, this was, what, 15 years ago, so I'm kind of late there. <laughs> but oh well. Oh, what am I saying? Princess Peach is working in the information booth, so... Yeah, she's kind of busy. And, uh, yeah. 
She's she's working in every single information booth in every single city that Luigi just so happens to visit. Yeah, that that's one hack of <laughs> that is dedication. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? That is it for this part of the Mario is Missing playthrough. Join me in part two where I'll be doing some more random cities throughout the world, mm, answering random trivia about them, mm, stomping on Koopas. Yes, because that's always fun to do. Uh, well, I guess that's it. So see you next time.